you know that electricity is produced by marine creatures under the dark muddy water? In this video, we're going to explore more about this topic. I am Juhi and let's get started. There are nearly 350 marine species of marine creatures that can generate and detect electricity. Some fishes produce more electricity. They are called as strong electric. But other fishes produce lesser electricity, so they are called weakly electric. One example of weakly electric fish are the Peter's elephant nose fish. They, they have an organ at the tail which produces about a volt of electricity which is equal to about two thirds of a double A battery. They detect um, distance, size and shape but they also detect whether an animal is dead or alive. Weekly electric fish do not produce enough electricity to attack the prey. Certain types of fish produce strong electricity such as an electric eel. An electric eel gets its name from its shocking ability. Use an electric charge from 300 to 650 volts. Electric eels are nocturnal. They live in muddy dark water and have poor eyesight. So instead of using eyes, they emit weak electric signals, which they use like a radar to communicate, navigate, and also to find prey. Once the prey is found, the electric eels are going to use a much stronger shock to stun the prey. Let's understand how these fishes generate electricity. An electric eel has three electric organs in it in its two meter long body. The fish's brain sends signals through the nervous system to the organs that generates electricity. These organs have several thousand cells in disc shaped cells called electrocytes. Usually electrocytes emit sodium and potassium ions. This maintains the positive charge outside and the negative charge inside. However, when fish brain sends signal to electrocytes, then the iron gates open up. Then all the positively charged sodium and potassium ions enter back into the electrocyte. This way, the electrocyte has uh, one side that has a uh, negative charges uh, on the inner side and positive charges on the outside and vice versa uh, on the other half of the electrocyte. These alternate charge patterns turn electrocytes into biological batteries. The special thing is that the brain sends signals to the electrocytes at the exact same time which makes electrocytes act like biological batteries in series. These fishes have electroreceptor cells where 